What does a morning look like for you at the moment? Have you got a routine of some kind? Yes, I run every single morning. So that's what time the, are you up? When are you waking up? I'm up about five, five thirty. So every morning starts with a run. And that's because that's the one thing I hate to do more than anything in the world. So that's like my cup of coffee. And I'm all about armoring yourself. So the second you leave your house and the second you open your phone, the second you do any of that shit, you are now letting in poison and cancer. So I make sure a lot of things you can't avoid. So as I get up, I start to armor plate my mind and body. Like a person's going to war, you put your body armor on. That's what I'm doing on that run. I'm waking up and I'm giving myself all this armor. So when I come out in the world, and I look at that phone, I'm ready. I'm not waking up late. I'm not rushing around. I'm not disorganized because I know I'm going to get hit in the fucking mouth. There's, a, there's an art to getting hit in the fucking mouth. And that is why these things are important. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself belief. You have to give yourself confidence. So that, it starts with that run. So after the run, I come home, I eat something small. How long is the run typically You're at the moment? Nowhere under 12 miles. So 12 miles is the minimum. And what are you getting that done in? How long? It depends. Right now I'm running heart rate. So I'm doing like 8.15s, 8.30s, because I'm retraining right now. Because What's that? Of is that leg. zone two for you? Zone two. Yep. Because of the leg surgery I had. So I'm going back, starting from scratch. So anywhere from about an hour 30 to two hours, I run every day. Mm -hmm. So that's So you're that. fasted on the morning? Yes. Up, straight out? Straight out. 90 minutes to two hours of running, back, yep. eat? Eat, and I'm in the gym. So, and then after that, um, to whatever's on the plan for the day. That's how that works every day. Are you still doing your stretching? Because you've got every two night. hours of- you've Every got night. Two hours of meditation, mm -hmm. 90 minutes to two hours of running. Mm -hmm. How long's the gym session? Depends, 45 to an hour and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stretching, meditation, run, mm -hmm. eat, mm -hmm. gym. Mm -hmm. Is that my missing, Jennifer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Forgot about that. You cycle as well? Yeah. How long are you cycling? It just depends. I do stationary bike right now a lot. Uh -huh. What so, are you using? Is it like a watt bike or something similar? Yeah, something yep. similar. Yep. So I, I put my bike on a uh, like trainer. Mm -hmm. And I cycle. Yep. At least three or four days a week, I'll do that. So. You, that's your day. There's no, there's no, there is no room for anything else. Yeah, there is. A lot of room. So there's okay. 24 hours and I, and I use it all pretty, pr pretty well. How's your sleep? What's your sleep like? It's really good. Okay. It You're is getting now. eight hours-ish, something like that? Seven, eight hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you need to with yeah. this sort of volume. Seven, eight hours. And you're still doing your stretching stuff? Every night. Every so you've got a four-hour block, basically, of stretching and meditation? Well, no, that's all in one block. You combine the two, right? Yeah, that's all in one block. Cool. Yep. That's one hell of a day. It is, and it's been like that for seven years. But going back to what you said before about needing to cap success, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to fit well, even one-tenth of that in. Exactly. If you were chasing down... Exactly. Yep. That's exactly it. So if all that's fucked up, that's why I got to cap success. Because I can't put that in. And, and that's my growth factor. So, you know, that's, that's my human growth factor.